le développement durable est une notion de développement Is it an outdated notion? Well, we must ask the question. Sustainable development was officially launched by the Brundtland Report published in 1987. The notion has uh, had an incredible success. Within a few decades, the word has become a word that everybody knows, although not everybody understands its content, but the notion is being displayed by uh, private and public and economic players alike. Huge success, and these players used it to implement policies on different levels, international, European, national. Even local players used it in uh, towns, agreements between towns and regions. Even private players used it. Private companies show the logo for green products. They apply it in their management rules. The notion itself got a huge success and everybody adhered to it in a surprising manner. And yet, the success is quite ambiguous. The notion is not very clearly defined, not very easy to use in an operational way. How do you implement sustainable development in an operational way? And the third reason why it's difficult to define the fact that it's being used by some companies uh, who do green washing. In French, we call that eco-blanchiment, eco-laundering. Some operations are simply painted with a coat of green and they appear as spectacular, except there is no real change in the production or consumption manner. Even the political use of uh, sustainable development is strange. Players are very involved and they uh, make a big production of organizing summits, they make huge speeches, but the political value is not very strong. Then the crisis in 2009-2010 made the whole notion more fragile. Now people start talking about short-term, but sustainable development is a long-term perspective. So what are we going to do to improve the lifestyle of future generations? And are we going to make the economic development fairer? How are we going to respect, show more respect for our planet. And now the debt, the private debt has been transferred to public players. We need to reduce the debt, we need to reduce the deficit. And the world of finance has taken precedence and short term has become our immediate political horizon. The whole notion of sustainable development is very ambiguous. Present everywhere and at the same time very fragile, fragmented, blurry, opaque. Another element contributes to the fact that uh, sustainable development is a source of problem. The, the appearance of new notions which may uh, endanger or even replace that of sustainable development. The notion of sustainable development competed with and even replaced the concept of eco-development following the Stockholm conference in 1972, trying to bring together environment and development. The idea of eco-development was the main idea on the international level throughout the late 70s and the 80s. Sustainable development appeared at the end of the 80s and then gathered steam in the uh, 1990s and 2000. So sustainable development replaced the previous notion of eco-development. And the question is, is sustainable development being endangered or replaced by other notions? Which are those notions? I'll limit myself to two, green growth or green economy. This is not new. The notion of green growth was uh, launched at the end of the 80s uh, as a response to the uh, sustainable development by some economists, for instance, David Pierce, who suggested the notion of green economy, except that at the time it was not really noticed. However, thanks to the to a 2009-2010 crisis, the concept of green growth, of green economy, came back under the limelights, the OECD or the UN program for 
Sustainable development has started working on green economy. Investments have been made in new technologies to try and restart the economy and place the economy on the trajectory of sustainable development. So the notion of green growth is very much present in uh, during the Rio 2012 Rio Plus 20 conference, which took place 20 years after the first summit for planet Earth, the Rio plus 20 summit was very short, very few discussions took place, and the whole notion of green economy was officially shown as one of the main elements of the Rio plus 20 conference. And yet, the green economy or green growth concept is not very well defined, depending on which book you look at. If you read the report adopted uh, during the Rio Plus 20 uh, conference, the future we want, depending on the paragraph you look at, you might find that the notion of green economy could also be discussed. It is controversial and not everybody has bought into it. The southern countries are declaring themselves even worried about the concept. They don't think it matches the strategies. Second notion, starting in the year 2000, maybe even more with the economic crisis, the concept of degrowth or decline in growth. Again, not a new concept in itself, relatively old because it first started appearing in 1970 with the uh, Club of Rome um, report, and the notion of degrowth was suggested in that report. Now, the notion has followed uh, its own path by the side, and now it is coming under the limelight uh, since the year 2000 because of the questions uh, raised regarding the concept of sustainable development. Degrowth is a notion being debated. Many people have interpreted it in very many different ways. There is no clear interpretation. It really refers to a number of notions, and there have been heated controversies. Among the various interpretations, I am going to focus on the one suggested by Serge Latouche. Why is it interesting? Because according to Serge Latouche, degrowth is really a notion of revolution, revolution as a political revolution, meaning that we need to change our values, the way we take decisions, even change the place occupied by the economy in our policies. It requires more solidarity, less individual behaviors, and a more frugal kind of growth and consumption. So if we were to summarize the situation, on one hand, we, on the one hand, we have green growth with a central notion of eco-innovation, green innovation, green technologies, a very engineering-like concept, a bit like the idea of the Industrial Revolution. Is sustainable development going to become feasible thanks to a new Industrial Revolution, and this means we would be technophile? Or if we believe Serge Latouche, sustainable development will happen through a political revolution based on militants and people who organize protests and who want to change the way we do things.